All right, gang, as you've probably noticed, I like to, you know, teach, present a concept, give you some examples, and then uh, show you how these are worked in uh, my stat lab, because the wording of these questions can be a little uh, confusing from time to time. So I'm going to work now, uh, lesson six, demo four, video seven. Uh, again, I haven't done these uh, problems. I don't want to do that. Let's just, um, let's just do this. Okay, for some reason it wants to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so the, uh, the claim that for 10 a.m. body temperatures for females, the mean is less than 98.6. So they give us a test statistic, use technology to find the p-value. So uh, I'm going to have uh, always mu equal the claim of 98.6. And it looks like we're wanting to test that well, we have less than, uh, also 98.6. All right, the test statistic. Well, they provide the test statistic here. And it's negative, uh, uh, what, two places? So 4.90. Uh, the p-value. Okay, to get the p-value, we need to uh, uh, go over and grab StackCrunch. Where'd my box go? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to uh, open. Uh, shoot. All right. Let's uh, let's go back to assignment. Well, that's qu that's quite annoying, actually. All right, is what it is. All right, so the p value is going to be uh, just the area to the left of negative point four nine zero. So if I go to stat crunch, I don't need that one. So I'll go stat t stat. No, I'll go uh, uh, stat calculator. Uh, T and my degrees of freedom uh, will be 35. And I want less than negative 4.90. <clears throat> so to three decimal places, my uh, p value is 0 0.000. Based on the p-value, there is significant evidence that a, uh, at a significance level of uh, 0.10 to warrant rejection of the claim uh, for the 10 a.m. is less than, uh, yeah, I got sloppy there. Uh, this, should be in support of the claim that the 10 a.m. body temperature. Now, here's what happened. I got uh, I got really sloppy. This is the claim. This is what we're testing. So they, they, they're kind of mismatching words here because the claim is always within the null hypothesis. And I got sloppy and assumed that I knew what they were talking about. Uh, but uh, actually, the claim that the... Uh, uh, mean female temperature is less than 98.6. So that's actually in support by rejecting the null hypothesis. So we all get sloppy, including me. Uh, uh, a data set uh, includes weights. Okay, so let's, uh, so we have some, some values there. All right, so the uh, shows the results from using all 39 weights to test the claim that the population mean is equal to 8.953. Okay, so we want uh, that the mean is equal to 8.5 or 8.953. And we want that the mean is not equal to 8.953. Let's just delete that. 
All right, identify the test statistic that's going to be given in the output. The test statistic is negative uh, 3.58. Kind of cool when you don't have to do any work for it, right? Uh, identify the p-value. P-value to three places is 0 0.001. Uh, state the conclusion. Well, we're testing at 0 0.01, and 0 0.001 is clearly less than 0 0.01. So we are going to reject the null. There is sufficient evidence at the 0.01 significance level uh, to reject the claim that the sample is from. So you now this is this is in contrast to the one before because now the claim is aligning with the null hypothesis. Uh, which, uh, again, this author and I have some, uh, we have some issues. But uh, so just, you just have to read very carefully. What is the claim and the uh, problem stating? And how does the uh, reject or fail to reject of the null hypothesis uh, align with the, uh, with the claim that uh, is being presented in the problem? All right, gang, next question. Uh, data set includes uh, times and minutes of taxi cab rides in New York City yellow cabs during a Friday morning of the same day in a recent year, using 37 of uh, the times to test the claim that the mean of all such times is less than 15. I don't know if you've ever ridden in a New York City yellow cab, but it's quite, um, quite an experience, quite chaotic. Uh, actually, I don't know why I have this up. I don't need that anymore. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started here. So we know that, the the null will be that the, um, uh, mean is equal to 15. And of course the alternative will be mean in this case, less than 15. Now, uh, identify the test statistic. Uh, well, the test statistic in this output will be uh, labeled as the t-value, so negative 1.59. And the p-value is 0 0.06. zero three places right yeah <clears throat> now what is our decision we're testing at the 0.05 level our p-value is greater than the 0.05 so we're going to fail to reject which means that there is no evidence to support that the mean is less than 15. so the claim here uh so i would um uh, say that um, there is not sufficient evidence at the 0.05 to support the claim that the mean is less than 15 minutes. All right, next question. Uh, we actually have a data set here. So uh, cool, I'm uh, glad we got one of those. So I can show you how this works. Uh, so we're testing, it looks like that there is some uh concentration okay simple random sample 0 0.05 test the claim that the mean lead concentration is less than 14. so we again should always know that the null hypothesis is equal to and it looks like we are testing less than 14. All right, identify the test statistics. So we're going to, have to do a little bit of work here. So let's uh, open this in StackCrunch. So it looks like we have a sample size of 10, right? So I am going to run a tstat, uh, one sample with data. I want variable one to be 
uh, selected as my column. And I want to test mu equal 14 versus mu less than 14. Um, my significance level is uh, 0.05. I don't know if I need the critical value or not, but let's just go ahead and get it. Uh, that way we'll have it if we need it. So the test statistic is under T stat, so negative 1.44. Uh, the p-value uh, to three places is 0 0.091. State the conclusion. All right, uh, 0.05, so our p-value is greater than 0.05, so we're going to fail to reject. Uh, we do not find evidence that uh, the mean leg concentration is less than 14. So obvious choice there, I guess. All right, uh, that's it. Hope that helped. Take care.